you can't doctor results in states declared inconclusive, PDP warned Anek. The party alleged that Yakub was doing this by declaring governorship elections in states where the PDP is in clear lead as inconclusive. The PDP claimed that Anek, under Professor Yakubu, had become overtly partisan, surrendered its independence to the APC and carries on as a compromised umpire with obnoxious impunity, thereby sending signals of being heavily bribed by the APC to alter results for its candidates. The PDP has full intelligence of how Anek is acting on instructions from the Buhari presidency and the APC in orchestrating unwholesome situations and declaring already concluded governorship elections in Sokoto, Adamawa, Baki, Plateau as well as other states as inconclusive, immediately it becomes obvious that the PDP was set to win. This also informs the foisting of unexplainable stoppage and delays and the announcement of already collated results in other states where the PDP is clearly leading the race, from the results so far declared at the polling units. Party has also been informed of how Anek is now seeking ways to use the situation to aid the APC to alter the results and announce APC candidates as winners in the elections clearly led by the PDP just as it did in the 2018 Osun state governorship election. In some of the states like Rivers, the PDP has information of plots by APC to leverage on the declaration by an act to unleash more violence in the state and push for isolated election where they can bring in more security forces to concentrate on forcefully taking over the state, the opposition party alleged. The PDP also claimed that Anek was under heavy pressure from the Director General of the Buhari Campaign Organization and Minister of Transport, Rotimi Maki, to post out and replace the Rivers State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Rec, as well as the Administrative Secretary. This will be totally unacceptable completely provocative and shall be firmly resisted by the people even if the totality of our nation's security is deployed to river state. This is more so as results of all the state assembly elections and river state have been declared and winners had emerged. The P2P cautions Professor Yakubu and his neck to perish the thoughts of altering any figures for the APC and to immediately announce our winning results in these states and others where our candidates clearly won, going by the results already declared at the polling units, wards and local government collation. Anything short of this will attract the legitimate wrath of the people. This is because Nigerians are already aware that elections have been concluded in these states, results have been collated and declared at the polling units, ward and local government collation centers and all returning officers and political parties conclusively have the figures. <laughs> Professor Yakub you must have noted how his name is becoming synonymous to electoral manipulations, among Nigerians and the fact that our citizens and international community hold him responsible for the rigging of the presidential and other elections for the APC. Today, majority of Nigerians and the global democratic institutions are questioning the state of our democracy and electoral processes, which have been under siege under the supervision of President Buhari and Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. In the light of these next manipulative tendencies, PDP therefore charges our leaders, teaming members and lovers of democracy in the affected states to immediately commence a march to enact offices and use all legitimate means to protect our mandate as freely given by the people at the polling units across the nation, a statement by Kolo Alagbandian, its spokesperson, said. Mm.